Dee. I'm Carrie. And I'm Dee Dee. And this is the Carrie and Dee Dee Show. What's going on, people? Let me tell you something. This is our seventh try try to do this shit, all right? You got these kids. As soon as we start up, the baby walk, I poop. We might check a diaper and stitch a shit in it. You Not understand? A thing. But anyway. <laughs> that baby is a liar. Yeah, she's learning a, a trade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lion trade. All right. So, we started off. Our first video was about Michael Jackson. And it's funny that we're almost getting ready to meet our one year in doing this. And we're back on Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, it seems that Michael Jackson's birthday is coming up and they're going to be doing a tribute uh, in Wales. Yes. And the reason why it's big news, not not like Michael Jackson isn't big news, but Gene Simmons. And I ain't going to lie to you. I've been saying Gene Griffin <laughs> like, all day. And I'm like, who the hell is Gene Griffin? Like, gosh, Gene Simmons from Kiss. But Gene Griffin from Kiss had Simmons. three... <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons from Kiss threw Michael a shade when he died, saying that uh, he was a what? pedophile or some when shit he like died that. Or yeah, yeah just saying that. Before. Well, no, he said it when he died. He's like, mm -hmm. why everybody's giving all these tributes to him? He was a right. pedophile. He did that and to the boys. He believed he raped the boys. He believed that he raped the boys. I thought that was funny because Michael was friends with uh, Diana Ross 25 years ago, and when Gene was dating Diana Ross, I thought they were all like kind of tight, but I guess not. Mm -hmm. So somehow, the Kiss has been kicked off the roster for um, the the tribute yes. because why tri you know pay tribute to somebody that you thought was a pedophile? Mm -hmm. And now Gene is kind of turning his tune around. I was like, look, man, hold it down. If that's yeah. what you believe, hold it down, you know. But of course, Gene Simmons. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is a businessman, so he's like, This yeah. would be good for Kiss. Yes. You know, but the Kings of Rock. They're not <laughs> the on it anymore. So they're not on it anymore. Mm -hmm. And apparently, uh, the whole list hasn't come out, but it said that the Jackson mother, uh, Catherine, is, um, is a part of it, and she's kind of choosing the talent with them. Yeah, and Christina Aguilera is supposed yeah. to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, CeeLo. Yeah, so those are the names that we know right it's now. But if, you know, once the names start, you know, coming out, we'll put right. it in one of our videos. So and I hope you know they come out with some, some good artists. I, like people I, who I feel. I don't want to throw no shade at the family. You know? But if Janet ain't performing, then there's a bunch of the other ones that. Yeah. You know, there's no shade because they all were singers. Yeah, but that's some of the kids much. just. I don't know. I think the Jacks, the, the Jacksons are going to perform. The Jacksons should perform because that but. was their brother. But like the nephews and nieces, I think they should be built up on their own steam as opposed to, you know, coming out on Uncle Michael and trying to do that. He, another aside note, mm -hmm. we were watching, um, we watch YouTube all the time. We were watching a, a few Pearl Juniors where she was, um, Interviewing a, a boy, um, B. Howard, Mickey Howard's son, mm -hmm. and she was asking him if he was Michael Jackson's son. And he didn't answer the question. He didn't answer the question. And I'm I'm looking at him, and I I'm a big supporter of Mickey Howard, mm -hmm. and I know that she was married. I mean, well, dating, um, the guy, not not Michael, but the guy who sang on backup for Michael Jackson's. Um, mm -hmm album and and they were in a group together and he's the baby that was born in 1975 so I'm like maybe he was brought up around the Jacksons mm -hmm. but you don't think that's Michael's but son. I don't think that's Michael's son I don't I look like I him really, a lot mannerisms are, are amazing he like and you can pick them up face. yeah you can see her face yes. there and he got a lot of Michael Jackson isms but mannerisms are easy to pick up if you hang around a person yeah. you'll pick up their mannerism mm -hmm. I'm just like him and that other guy, um, Obi, may not be Michael's biological children, but he probably did a lot for them, and they probably were, you know, close. Because they were around, and they and were, they were the around them and everything, little, so. and that makes them honorary sons. I wish people would just leave it alone. Michael didn't, didn't, to my knowledge, have any biological children 
outside right. of possibly blanket, and the other children were uh, surrogate kids. So it's like, stop doing this. And I really would hope that those kids are not uh, trying to use that as a way to get in because it it takes it really takes talent. You can't you, you can't just kind of blow off. And his everybody head. can't have the talent like Michael Jackson had. Mm -mm, I mean, mm -mm, mm -mm. the only person try, close is Chris Brown. You can try. You can want to look like him, but somehow, I mean, it's just the either you some of them now some of these people can really dance, you know, and they mm -hmm. they can come really close if if not even better. Some of them. I would have yeah, to say some someone can cut it right. But I mean right. just the overall package, like overall I haven't seen anybody yet. See, when when you I know? think of Michael Jackson, I think of creativity, I think of like he just have innovative yeah. stuff. Yeah. He, he he had a package that most people just you you don't get that. No. The dude had an imagination on twenty thousand. And these cats coming out with this shit, it's like you need to take several seats. You know, go to bed, you know, because What's happening? What's happening with these cats is that they don't have that type of imagination. No. And just because you've been around, it's a different time now. Yeah, so it's like Michael Jackson was a fan of James Brown, Gene Kelly, um, and Fred Astaire, and the list goes on all the way up to this. Young people don't even know who those people are. Yeah. And true. And then the other thing is, you would never see that. On Michael, Michael took all that shit, the, and made, the Travolta made thing, and, it, and made it bigger. It's like yeah. he took it, he studied the greats, and made it himself greater by having it all. And these guys, you can't just walk on the scene and say, "I'm Michael Jackson's son," and be acting like Michael. It's like oh, that ain't gonna cut it. That's like walking around I'm Prince's so son, and, and and I play guitar. No, you're supposed to be somewhere else doing yeah. something else. I've never seen that work. I've never seen a father. A son come behind his father, and that really works. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm babyface son. That don't mean you can write songs. No, bitch. it doesn't mean. <laughs> it doesn't mean you know, and, and sometimes I, even if you could write a little bit, it's, it won't be as good as your, you know, the parent. Dad, I hate yeah. to say it like that, but it's, it's true. You know, that's what they say. Like with two siblings who come out and yeah. try to do the same thing, one is always it all. It always just work for one and not the other somehow. And you know, in some and, and that's a big thing in the Jacksons. There were nine kids, nine. well, ten, oh but nine God. that you know survived. I be one of them, and I only two of them got that height of success. Where you have like maybe four of them that were moderately successful, mm -hmm. but only two of them took it to levels that we will never ever probably see anybody else do. I, there's nothing new on videos right now. Nothing new. There's nothing new in dance. There, it's, no. Nothing gets innovative. It's all all right. I've seen that on Beat It. Yep. You know, I thought Jen Jackson was throwing the shade at Cassie when she was like, "Oh look, oh well, oh, I, I've done that already." You know. Well, she was so but she wasn't shade. really throwing the shade. She was no, telling the truth. I did that. She did that. I mean, when you ask her, "What do you think of certain artists?" What could she say? Like, okay, she like her. Mm -hmm. She knows she's a fan of hers, but she's you know she's done that. She's been there, done that. I mean, it's the truth. It is what it is. I don't think it was shade. I think it was just she yeah. was being honest and telling me. Now, the truth. if you want to look at a shade, I remember you telling me about Keisha Cole seeing Mary J. Blige somewhere yeah. and saying, I would like to be just like you. And then Mary saying, No, bitch, that would never happen. Some shit like that. You can't be like me. <laughs> You'll never be like me. That's what she said. She told him, You'll never be like me. And she was, it hurt her feelings, she said, because she was, she looked up to Mary. Like, I, I don't want to be you. Mm -hmm. I want to have the success that you have. You know, I, I like and it's your obvious style. In some yeah, of the songs oh, yeah. and the, it's the very way that obvious. things are portrayed. And that's why, even, even you know, not too long ago, Mary was quoted as saying, you know, she didn't really like Keisha Cole too much. She felt like Keisha Cole was trying to jack her style or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you got to know that when you, if you come out back in when Mary J. Blige came out, the 80s or whatever. No, girl. Well, she first was on the scene in 88. On, but she uh, became song, popular in the 90s. In 90s. Okay, you got to know the, the generation, the people coming after you. You're going to have people that look up to you and aspire to be like you. To do, or uh, some people are going to emulate you. You should expect that. That makes you the icon, the legend. And these people are coming up. But, you know, I guess they, to me, I think they'd be a little intimidated. Because you never know. Just some, you can, Somebody can come after you and straight, you know, move yeah, right past I, I you. think when you're holding down your spot really well, mm -hmm. it's it kind of complicated. Right. It's like, it seemed like Usher was going to be that. 
Michael yeah. Jackson thing, but Michael's just, still living, and he was holding his spot down very well. He's like, I'm Michael Jackson. Not only can I get you to watch me singing and dancing, but I can get you watching me, you know, going to the store. Right. I can get you watching me going to, you know, get some surgery or something. I can mm-hmm. get you to watch me, bitch. Uh, the rest of you bitches can't get a motherfucker to watch me, <laughs> watch you, like right. people are watching me. But another thing, uh, Katy Perry. I've come to love her music. I've yeah. actually come to love it. Because, you know, I, you bought me that guitar. My wife bought me a guitar for my birthday. And mm-hmm. I started playing some songs and pick up on a few Katy Perry songs. I come to, you know, learn the music. So I kind of love the music or whatever. Mm-hmm. But she has um, grasped hold to Michael Jackson's um, record as far as having five number one singles on one album. It seems that if she has one more, she will have broke his record. She's hmm. nobody else has ever did that. Nobody else has ever done that. It's ever done that. And that and that's, wow, that's surprising. Beyonce didn't do it. No, Beyonce. Um, Beyonce is is fly unto herself, but yet, you know, some things she has she hasn't trailblazed on. But nobody has many as Grammys as she does, though. How many she has? Is it sixteen or some shit? Altogether, like yeah, from like, Destiny Child days and. I think it's mostly from her solo career. Solo career yeah, so yeah. Beyonce. Is and uh, Jay, solo. her husband, is calling her the, the next thing to you know Michael Jackson. That's something that really needs to be let go. Is, um, and you know we heard that before. Yeah, it's like. Stop! Stop doing the next Elvis, the next Michael Jackson. Let's let's do something that's so illustrious that it can only be quintessentially that person, like Beyonce. It's like Beyonce's done this, 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 and this. I'm the first Beyonce. Oh, and I'm sorry, cause we just trumped right over um Katy Perry. Congratulations oh yeah, yeah. To Congratulations. Katy Perry. Cause that's a big, you know, yeah. a big thing to to accomplish. You know. Yeah. Why not? And to have songs that were good. Problems. You know, it's you know, not yes. like they were cheesy songs. she can songs. sing. I have to say, she can and sing. She can sing. So, kudos to Katy Perry. Yeah. Do your thing. Because, I'm, you know, I don't want to just jump over her stuff with Beyonce like that. Yeah. But anyway. And then, going into my my favorite people in the world, um, the Atlanta Housewives. Housewives. I just went out and just left wait. next door to them bitches. I can't wait. For that show to come back, oh, for all the drama. Because it, this, right now, TV has sucked so hard. We thought it was going to blow up. We were talking about the Jersey Housewives, but it was just the first show. After that, it kind of <laughs> slung down the hill, and I'm sitting there. After a while, I started paying it. I mean, like, she it's not really been watching it, but she, watch I'm it. like, I thought it was. Wasn't so, I didn't want them to make it. Teresa look stupid like that. Teresa I, is a crazy I thought bitch. Teresa was. You know, very level Teresa all the other crazy. shows, well, and then all of a sudden, this one she's the crazy. Like, Since she, Danielle's gone, yeah, you're the now crazy. She's she like, come on, let it go. She and, really seemed crazy. Yeah, it made, they really edit that woman. Well, I don't know if it's edits, but I do know one thing. I stopped watching the show up until the last one, and then you know I watched that one. It's like, all right, this is it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. And then what else? The basketball wise wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Though there were some fucking highlights, and I must say that that's a kid. We have a lot of kids, and if you hear that mumbling in the background, that's the baby. I spent all that time holding that baby, shave my chest so I can lay on my chest so she can love me, and she, mommy, mommy, of course, mommy, mommy, I'm the mommy. Yeah, well, shit, I was she loves the one you too. All night, her screaming while you get your rest. I'm like, I'm gonna hold this baby. I, this is my baby. This, yeah. baby, this is the last one. Mm-hmm. Hold on, we're working, sweetheart. You come back, all right? All right. And then, um, she loved mine. And the other one, the, the one right before her. Oh, she loved mine. And everybody's like, who you love? They love both of us. They love mine. They and, know they can get over. Yeah, because they know. I, I'm the one love. who has to potty train, so I'm the one who has to be aggressive. That, they stuff. love mommy because mommy they, gets they, away with that's murder. That's mommy. That's yeah. why. They, but they, anyway, they on the housewife show, <laughs> getting back to topic, on the housewife show, um, Cynthia Bailey is supposedly been pregnant. seen around town with a baby bump. I, I want to see her pregnant. She only have one one daughter. And, um, yeah, it would be nice to, to see her with another baby. 
I think that'd be cute. Her, she and her husband, her and her husband, you know, got married. Why not? I think when you get married and you're fifty years old, she's not 50. like him. He's fifty. It don't matter. A fifty old man don't really want no fucking kids. He, he, he must we do want more counting. We be like. I'm going to be 70 years old but when this he, kid is 20. But I don't want to leave a kid fucked up like that if I die at 79. Well, they're not thinking about it like you're that. Like, if know, he, he's 50 and he got his wife pregnant, he must he got her pregnant, so he must want the baby. Yeah. But men, y'all got to realize y'all the one that get us pregnant. We can't get pregnant on our own. Okay? True enough. But yeah. I'm just looking at this whole situation like, That's I got right. seven kids. They, and we had them pretty late. They have... You and know, I'm like, nannies and they have, you know... No, they was um, having money problems. Well, you, know, money you, can get your, but you can get your money... You can get your money up. You don't have the time to have yeah. money problems. You know, that was then. Maybe yeah, they got but I'm, I'm like this. And you, you know what? In the, have in the midst, but in the midst of yeah. money problems, that's when you get pregnant. Don't you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, every time. Because <laughs> you're depressed. You don't know what else to do. So, so you start having sex. <laughs> and... Getting that's people pregnant. Have, yeah, that's why you have seven children. Mm. Anyway, move. Go ahead. Anyway, 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 but um, like I was saying. And you know what I hate when when couples say we pregnant. No, I'm pregnant. This baby is not growing in your stomach. Yeah, and let a nigga we, say that. We, let let me I, say that when she's pregnant. I'm, I, oh well, she's I pregnant. No, this is our baby. No, it's like, but you, I, you, but I you said, you said no. that it was your you pregnant, yeah, and then all of a sudden now it's our baby, and we pregnant, and then another <laughs> hit, and you pregnant by yourself. No. As long as I'm saying we I, pregnant, it's in you pregnant. But when I say it's we ain't grow. pregnant, you are pre women, we pregnant. All I'm the pregnant ones with you. Have to carry it, not the man. I've been you. carrying. It. I was carrying them all my life. I just drop them off in you. Well, it grows in me. Okay, you drop it off, and then I gotta give it right back to. Then I gotta <laughs> carry it, and I gotta be in pain, and and all of this. So I ain't gonna lie to you. One pregnancy, we was in there. She wanted to be tough, right? <laughs> she she linked it, get epidural till she about nine centimeters. <laughs> that pain hit her. <laughs> Then you thought it was funny. You thought it was funny? It That's, was funny. That ain't funny. <laughs> that stuff hurt. Bad. Yeah. You wait till, till you nine centimeters to get an epidural. I don't know what the hell Who was told happening. told you to go get her? That, that, that hurt really, really bad. Seriously. And like, it ain't never been like that again. I felt like I wanted to jump up off that table and get the hell out of it. Let me tell you, every pregnancy was weird. Anyway, every, every, well, going to have the baby delivery everyone was is, everyone, weird. Everyone, each one, one was One time um, with Ronnie, our last boy, they gave her so much of that shit. Uh, what was that? Pitocin? Yeah. We had the baby. Because I, I, I was like, I said In our babies. hands now. And then all of a sudden, she's like, y'all eat a couple crackers. She puked green. Well, what the fuck is this? You know, because it, it was it, every pregnant, every it's pregnancy an and delivery was weird, just weird. It's an ordeal, seriously. But anyway, yeah. Getting back to us, this is a random video. We're just doing our thing. <laughs> and then, um, Beyonce wants kids. Oh yeah, now she wants some kids. Child, let me tell you something. I think it's a good time to have some babies, girl. I'm gonna see what your kids gonna look like. It's 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 a good. I hope she don't have her children have walk around with them bells on like Michael Jackson. But um, yeah, yeah, everything is cooling down with your career and stuff. It's a good time to have a baby. It's cooling down. Yeah, she said it. She's like, you know, it's time. Now it's time. Yes. I don't know, cause I'm thinking. I think she should. She has a a good. Six more she years. She still can do her thing, but she can still have. Look, Alicia Keys when they had a baby. Look, Keisha Cole. Every fant oh Fantasia, Fantasia um might be threatening losing her baby. She's on bed rest, so I don't know what's going on with that, but I hope she's all right. You know, yeah. I hope she's I all right. Because leave her yeah, in our prayers. I don't want because I hate for that. her to lose her baby like that. that would, that's not fun. We have a, a sub subscriber that that uh, sent us a message that she lost a baby. That was a little sad to hear. Yeah, that is. Because that's, that's something that's very, you know. Shout um, out to Lynn. And take care. You know, yeah. be careful and stuff. Because that's, yeah. I don't like hearing that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's kind of hard. hard. I really don't like hearing that kind of stuff. But, um, 
as far as Beyonce, I, I just don't see it because Beyonce seems. I'm not saying to have a baby would mess her up, but she seems no, really she's you real game face, real focused. So you don't think she would be able to do it? I don't think that a baby would. Even though Diane Ross was able to pull that off, but she got pregnant stop three, her. four times, and and still was going yeah, on. Yeah, she could still do it. But I, I, I don't think this in in the way the world works right now, and the way entertainment, she got lost for one year. And came back and had a little problem selling right. her records and and getting number one. So I'm like, if she get lost and come back with a baby, maybe that might. Be. I don't know. Things change so really rapidly in, now, in so the industry. Who buys records there. anymore? What? What? Um, Jay Z just put out an album yeah, with um, Kanye West. Kanye West and. They did like four hundred and some thousand. And you would not, easily think that would be a million seller, exactly. especially since it was all digital. It's, and it's the two of them. I thought. And it's the two of them. So much, much more. But I think that, and then it's I'm the economy, and you it's know, just things are changing. Jay Z and Beyonce face mixed together. Child, don't even go there because I didn't see a lot of people making jokes about Jay Z. They people be saying he ugly and this and that. Oh my gosh, why is she with him? Look. He's not the cutest, but he ain't the worst. Right, because I can't say and, not myself because, I mean, you would think, or right, him with her. It's like, we have some and nice looking kids. I so, would, but that baby would be interesting. My face like I would like to see, <laughs> you know what, they need to have a, uh, she should have, like you can decide on what you have. She, yes, you can now. They, yeah, they you plant can. stuff in you, but anyway, if you go natural, <laughs> you can, um. We're all, we're all quite the old, um, ADAG. <laughs> what, what, is, what is he saying? My ADHD. He be tripping me out there. I'm like, baby, I love that one. You be all over the place and you blaming it on that attention deficit disorder. Like, it just kicks in at any moment. I might have that, actually. But anyway, I don't think so. But, um, let's see. See, I lost my train of thought. We're talking about but yeah, Beyonce and Jesse. That baby would be cute. Because if it's a girl, the girl gonna look like him. If she have a boy, it's gonna look like her. And I ain't gonna lie. Girl's face girl's does justice for the father's. So, cause all my girls, they have my face, and they somehow that looks good on them. But regardless of what the child look like, I think she should start a family. Cause you know she's, you know, we th she's thirty something years old. You ain't twenty nine, girl. But anyway, why are you throwing shade? At her? No, it's not no shade. We all <laughs> come on. Everybody knows she. You know, you know how it go. That's mm -hmm. the industry. Y'all, you always be two, three years younger than what you really are. So we already know you thirty, about thirty three, something like that. <laughs> There is time to have a family. You know, why not? Everybody want to see. It would be cute. Everybody want to see your, your kid. We want to see what kind of babies y'all make. And, you know, have a family. Don't have all that talent and just keep to yourself. Maybe there's a chance your child might come out with that voice, you know. It works out like but, you know, you have to see. And so I think it's good she want to do that, you know. And I think she picking the right time because she can, you know, calm down some. And this would be the, good, the best time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what? Kelly Rowland has. Oh my girl, Kelly, Kelly. What is she doing? Oh, she said she's, you know, trying to, um, what's she trying to do? Branch out and improve her brand or mm -hmm. just expand her brand and try to do other things other than music but she, because she realizes that the music industry has changed. You know, they're not selling records like they did back in the day and things are different now. She realized that, you know, all this um, social networking like YouTube and Twitter and Facebook, all this is how it's different now because you have all these tools mm -hmm. you can use them. So she realizes that she needs to use those even more and it's actually good for her. So she's trying to branch out and do some other things. You know, so I guess that's why there's not a whole lot of promotion, I guess, on this album because she's doing other stuff. She's doing a show, hearing rumors that she's supposed to be doing like a, um, a TV show and a talk show. So I'm like, girl, go ahead and get your money. Get your money, build yourself up, do what you need to do. I'm just kind of Weird so it out because to she's to on tour with Chris Brown. She's supposed to be doing that. And then she's going to be doing talk show and, and the X show. Well, not all right now. It's all in oh, works. Oh. It's not, she's, she's doing X Factor right now, which they're trying to figure out how that's going to coincide with the tour. So that they're going to make it work, but in works of, you know, doing other stuff. So this tour is going to be over after a while. And she's going to have other stuff going. I would love to see her in some more movies and shows and doing TV shows. Why not? She If she can... Yeah, because I, I, cause I really do believe that that superstar singer thing yeah, it, it, it's what it used to be no, and it's not Bill what it's cracked up to be anymore. I think all of these things that she's probably trying to pull in together, mm -hmm. probably a perfume or something like that, that may give her more money than 
being a singer. It will the rich singer not, thing, I don't think that, that happens It's not anymore. paying off right now. And now is, the, to me, the best time to branch out and do it. She wasn't really able to do it at first. Mm -hmm. You know, and, so and now... she's doing something with Beyonce also, right? Well, they're supposed to have a video. She's supposed to be in a, do, you know, have a cameo in uh, Beyonce's video. But I don't, I'm wondering when. I thought that video, video should have been out by now. No, so, I don't Beyonce know. got some other shit going so on. So when the too. video will come out anyway, I don't know. But we'll see it and we'll know when it come out when we see it. I wonder but, what that um, conversation was like. Oh my God, you know what? I do kind of think sometimes, like, if if Kelly and Beyonce, if I could just hear them, you know, hear them in a conversation with, I wonder how would the conversation go? Would they talk, do they talk about like just regular everyday stuff? Or they'd be like, you know, girl, I wonder if Kelly be like, Beyonce, girl, motivation oh, is doing Beyonce, so good. Girl, you know, like, girl, so I'm Kelly. Yeah, and I'd be like, I wonder if, I do wonder sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if it be like girl Beyonce girl motivation is number one and I'm so happy and and it's just it's number one girl I'm number one in the country R and B girl what you be and be me more like um, girl <laughs> I'm I'm happy to hear about your little song being number one yeah girl because you needed a number one after all this long time what 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 uh distant child been over how long girl. It's, it's about it's time for you. Oh, and I would be like, see, bitch, you trying to throw some shade. You say my little number one. At least I have a number one. That's what I would be like. Yeah, girl, all oh, one of them. <laughs> I'm like, but look. Oh. <laughs> How many albums that, you sold, girl? That's wrong. How many albums you sold, girl? Send it for. Like girl, Beyonce girl, don't even try it. All that shit that happened at the try BT B Awards. B <laughs> and um, you so how many? Send it for records. Girl, please. Girl, you don't even try. You wanna come and do a, 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 a spot in one of my videos, oh girl? My That'll help your little record. Girl, B. <laughs> girl, B. You know I love you. You my sister. Not really. But. But bitch, because I'm going to have to bring a bitch out now, <laughs> bitch. Don't even try. Because oh you know when I was doing stole, stole was this shit. <laughs> girl, stole. If I was you, I wouldn't even bring that one up. Well, baby, let me tell you something. Girl, you are my sister because we've been working together for like 15 years. And um, I don't know. I didn't have to sell my soul. Really, girl? To, to get my you, number one, you heard me? Girl, that one number one, you should have sold your soul. Because, Girl, uh, but at baby, least ain't, you ain't you ain't gonna get another one. I mean, no no shade to you, girl, but why don't you just come and do my video, and then you know maybe a few more little records would be sold for you because um, I don't have to work as hard as you, with or without Matthew. Baby, I really think you do have to work hard because um. You put that run the world shit out, and I really just feel like, girl, you ain't running the world. You was running the world. You you have sold more than a million copies of that album when it came out, and you'd have had a single that's number one on the Billboard charts. Mm -hmm. But you, oh, child, yes. and that many people like you that much because they could, they did not go out and buy your record. Oh yes, girl, and guess what? All that fucking so who really all that fucking world, buzz baby? you had, girl. Um, at the BET Awards when you came out and did a little piece of what uh, what's his name Trey Hong's Trey Hong what, what what's his name you came out and, and sang in the middle of a bitch um in the middle of a bitch show and 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 did a little Janet Jackson moves girl with your wig stuck to that fucking hat first off you need to go and get you some new wigs girl because your branding is all off girl, girl first off and let girl, me tell you something no, you want to come at my album you want to come at my album bitch girl. more people was out there to get my fucking album than it was Girl, to get yours. Cause all seven you or eight of them fucking people who was out there that did <laughs> I know! You ain't talking about wigs, baby, with them damn wigs coming loose on the side of your head looking like an alien, baby. From when oh, your lace was all coming yeah, loose. Yeah, well, guess what, girl? No, B, don't do it, guess baby. Guess what, girl? Don't do it, B. Guess what, girl? Because, baby, don't try to me, baby. At least I got real stands. Girl. Bitch, them eight or nine bitches who bought the record ain't did shit for you, girl. You ain't did shit for you.
right then. <laughs> All right. But uh, <laughs> I guess that was something like it would be something yeah, like so that. Child, like please. please. Yes, I fucking did. Fucking Beyonce. I, I think Beyonce. I was moving because I don't know what the fuck else to say. Yeah, Kelly, I mean, girl, we don't want to see that happen. We don't want to see that nah, happen. I, I love them both, though. You remember when, yeah. when Kelly had an album out? I went out and bought it. So well, I girl, said, good, yeah, I mean, they're all talented. It was a good album. I went out and bought it. But, well, girl, I would never want to see no show down no, between the two because I think I think Beyonce has been winning, and then she oh, probably yeah. got a little shade that we don't see. Oh, yeah, she's going to she gonna win yeah, that shit. bitch with this full record, so... <laughs> <laughs> That was she would be, she, uh, I wouldn't even want to think about that because Kelly, I, girl, I'll be dying laughing. Seriously. <laughs> girl. That's just like, girl. That's just like, uh, girl. Whitney Houston. Girl. For, uh, but Kelly girl. Houston. Oh my gosh. That shit killed me. I was like, I'm like girl, you can't Carrie, even come Carrie, from this Keisha Cole. Carrie Houston <laughs> held her own, though. Shit. Carrie Houston was not bad enough. Whitney Houston looked at it had it. But you know what? I love this whole fucking thing. I don't. I can't it. believe you came from this Beyonce. <laughs> oh lord! But anyway, this was very random. We wanted to just talk. We're starting to like this a whole lot. And um, oh shit! I want to give a shout out to Rhonda and Tanya, Tanya and Miss Tina from the R and T show. And Rhonda, I'm, I'm praying for your brother. And yes. And yes. we're going to include him in our prayers. We yes. pray as a family at night. We're going to include him in our prayers. Yes, we will. And um, sorry we put this part, this shout out at the end of the video. But, you know, if you watch the whole thing, we're praying for you. Yes. And um, you have we a, hope everything, you know, we'll, works out. Everything works out. out. Um, you never know. Like it says, late in the midnight hour, God's going to work it out. It's going to work in your favor. So um, that's all we have. <laughs> And, just, and really, just thank you for shouting us out. For, yeah. For just and 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 congratulations really on on your on your ten thousand views. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm. That's how you do it. <laughs> I'm not. All right. Yeah, and I wasn't gonna put on no damn wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye.